This week, a lot more Americans are up for COVID booster shots. The FDA authorized boosters for Moderna and Johnson & Johnson on Friday. Our Megan Schiller has been checking on availability for shots at UPMC, AHN, and some local pharmacies as well. They are busy hiring more staff and they are planning right here at Spartan Pharmacy in Brentwood. The sign on the door says it all. They are not doing walk in appointments. They're asking for people to have the appointment already scheduled so you can't just walk in. Even though there is one person walking in for their appointment every 10 minutes here at Spartan Pharmacy, they say that having the appointment in advance brings some order to this booster rush. It is a steady flow of booster eligible people here at Spartan Pharmacy. We're just basically neighbors. So and we've done it before. Yes, we came for our uh, first shots. Neighbors Lee Phillips and Noreen Crowell heard the news Friday and didn't hesitate. Moderna. Moderna. We sound like the twins. Moderna. <laughs> the Moderna twins. Yeah. The booster clinics for UPMC and Allegheny Health Network start Tuesday. Dr. Arpit Mehta tells me he's training the staff to prepare for mix and matchers. In our uh, training, if you will, for our vaccinators to know the doses and appropriateness of the vaccine, uh, especially now that there is a mix and match component of the vaccine as well. So we have a chart that people can follow on what they can and cannot receive for the booster doses. People can now choose between Pfizer, Moderna, and J&J &J boosters. And Dr. Mehta okay. says this time around, supply should meet the demand. Definitely are doing more boosters compared to the first and second doses currently. Um, but we haven't seen a huge rush in the sense because the vaccine is really available. So UPMC and AHN want to put one final reminder out there for their patients to go online to schedule their booster appointments in advance. Rite Aid did fix its website. There was an issue with first dose J&J &J recipients not being able to select the proper thing from the drop down menu. Rite Aid says that problem should be fixed by the end of the day. Reporting in Brentwood, Megan Schiller, KDKA News.